You have killed an enemy. Hey there, it's Matt from Parable here, and I'm introducing episode 3 of the Parable Challenge, our indie title spotlight series. This week, we'll be giving you an overview of Rigonauts, a wind-up and watch platform title. As with previous episodes, we'll be trying our hand at a new challenge this week, and, much like last time, I'm sure we'll do horribly at it. So, at least that should be enjoying. The title under the Parable Challenge spotlight this week is Rigonauts. Rigonauts was developed by Engine and was released on August 8th the 6.99 on Steam. Uh, I really like this like, game. It looks lovely. I love I'm actually not well. the biggest fan. I uh, think it's uh, great. I think it's such a cool idea. Like, It feels like Angry Birds with boats and it feels very limited for the price. Uh, I, guess, I guess I see this price issue, but I, just, I think it's lovely. I just love <laughs> like, these sort of massive hulking things firing shit at each other. It's like some sort it's just, of strange hybrid of tower defense mixed with deathmatch. I really like it. And worms. You got you got to keep it, you got to keep thinking of them worms. You know. You probably yeah. could create yeah. your own worm with it. So that'd be great. But I have to admit, I really do think like the creation aspect does work quite well. Like yeah. having having looked at it, like it it kind of helps you. You can kind of build literally anything you want, and the things that you come out with are like these absolute hulking tower boat things. Or yeah, in my case, it action. just falls apart instantly. Like, <laughs> just, it's like you know, if I made a Robot Wars kind of thing, it would just kill itself instantly because it hates itself. This is what That's it is. This is, this is like, Birds Robot Wars. That's exactly what it is. That's great. See, that's an amazing combination. If I'm honest, it's Robot yeah, Wars. With robot bones. Wars. It robot makes it sound a lot bones. better than I thought it than <laughs> ever make it sound before. Like this, this should be their new PR PR pitch. This is Angry Birds Robot Wars. <laughs> Oh, what we is just that? need uh, Craig Charles to commentate. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much you've got. Craig Charles, we've got Michael Hudson. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I'm just gonna like commentate the shit out of this, obviously. <laughs> uh, every like every time I try to like I try to keep trying to make Tyrannosaurus Rexes in this thing, and they just always fall. On, on the screen at the moment, to the left, it looks like a giant crocodile wannabe. Yeah, you it's just awesome. saw that. I love but it. It's coming in now again. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's falling apart. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, I have to admit, it, it does look really fun. It's just, I think it's so very limited, like in what it does, because it literally is kind of wind up and play and just let it go. And it's like, mm -hmm. obviously, you're paying seven. It's, it's a very slow pace. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a good iPhone very... game. Oh yeah, definitely. Or Android. Yeah. That's a really good point. This this would be amazing on that help. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'd love to be doing this on like a bus or something. It would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kind of game that you can really only like feel engaged with for like ten minutes here and there. But those ten minutes, you'll feel incredibly engaged. <laughs> yeah. You'll feel like the best man in the world when your giant um, dinosaur boat is destroying other terribly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing that I desperately want to do, it's just to make something absolutely enormous and then just do nothing with it. That's the appeal. Yeah, guys. <laughs> That's Rigonauts. The challenge this week, the Parable team is to attempt to complete World 1-6 using a single weapon of their choice on their ship. Now, I expect that quite a few of us will manage to complete that much, and as such, the member who does it while spending as few points as possible will be crowned victorious. Each member will get two attempts at the challenge, and each time, they have to start again from the default ship. No adjustments to an already built vessel are allowed. Yeah, this is really cool. I love this challenge, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan. I'm, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna be the person who's not the biggest fan of anything. It seems because I said that last time. But <laughs> I love that just an image of me deleting wheels just to put them back exactly where they were. That's so indecisive of me. He doesn't very meticulous, and his Greg, he's like you know, the what the hell it's gonna are you be doing the best. with those wheels? I know they're, not, they're like awesomely and spindly. I cover more ground that way. He's making a spoiler here. Exactly. It's <laughs> oh, just like Need for doing? Speed Underground Edition. Are you taking any consideration to the points? 
Nope. <laughs> oh, look, this is how you do it like a boss. Yeah. That Take is away the dummy. wheels. No, you, that's awful. This is his helm seat. Let's go. <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> He's doing quite well so far, though. That, that thing's going to fall off. Look at yeah, it. It's so probably see? The gun all on see, Sonny broke the rurus. He oh. broke the rurus. Oh, great. <laughs> Still put the footage in anyway. That's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. He's uh, disqualified, and I think you're going to find in a minute that I'm also disqualified, but don't worry, our footage is still in. Oh, oh, right, I think it was my awful wording on the Ruru's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it doesn't what matter whether you're disqualified, that's shit! No, mate, listen, we're just going to fucking miss I'm our the micro. Best player here, I'm shooting my own boat. <laughs> oh, wow, that's pretty special. I'm not going to lie. Looks like you got a giraffe on the top. That's a good idea. I thought it was more of a fire engine. <laughs> Well, there's certainly some interesting designs, I'll give them that. To, to be fair, I don't think any... <laughs> <laughs> We're ramping it there, what the hell? I don't understand what I just witnessed, but it was incredible. So, Sonny's being direct-hitted like a thousand times over. <laughs> just taking me like a man. Just getting destroyed. <laughs> I've got how a beautiful design. Look at it. How, how are you surviving? Greg and I both targeted the same points. I think yeah, I actually saw, right. thought ahead and noticed that it would tip over there. See, look, here's me. I'm like, you know, let's, let's just get some wheels on this bitch. Professional mode. Fuck the yeah. rules. All the <laughs> wheels straight on the shelf. Now to there. put all the guns on it. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the rules. What the hell is that at the front? Is that That's a battering ram. No fear. A battering ram. Oh my god. Uh, See, this, this is a long range battle. Taking it like a boss. I still think we should have done the challenge without guns and just battering. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that might have been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! What the hell is Tactical that? Tactical retreat! Tactical retreat! <laughs> just look at that little, that little bump. Yeah, I did the same, except my battering ring kept me up. <laughs> oh god, these are awful designs. At least Greg's are half usable. Exactly. Oh, oh, that Greg looks the stupidest and it's doing the best. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it slanted like that? That's just so silly. It's aerodynamically designed. I think we're all going to have to agree overall, having watched this challenge, that Greg is probably going to end up the winner. That's it from the Parable team today, but you guys can get involved too. You can even have the chance to win the feature game that we played this week. All you have to do is take a guess at who amongst the Parable team managed to win the challenge, and then drop your guess down there in the comment section below. We'll then add up all of the correct guesses, and select one of you at random, and announce the winner at the start of the next episode. Thanks very much for watching, and we hope that you join us next week.